Have you ever seen those cartoon cameras where there's a little person or a bird or whatever inside that rapidly sketches out the image by looking through a peephole in the front and then sends it out the side of the camera to offer it to the camera operator? Like there's a little living creature inside the camera. Well, here's the interesting thing. That is exactly how the camera started and how it was invented. Artists discovered that they could project through a round globe of water onto the canvas an upside-down image of the scene to be painted. But in order to do this, they had to block off half the room. They had to obscure half of the room with something very dark, a dark wall, a camera, or a screen, in order to darken the area, in order to see the very faint image projected on the canvas. And this they would then sketch out, add a few colors, just to get the proportions and everything right. Then, of course, they're going to remove the curtaining, and they're going to spin that canvas around, and they're going to be able to, to, to finish the image. However, the room, the word for room in Italian, in Latin, was camera. Camera. So in point of fact, when the camera was invented, the guy who invented the camera took this extremely well-known and very old trick of taking a square box with a hole in one end and projecting an image onto the back of that box. And instead of a little guy with a paintbrush, he added a chemical solution that he had, or someone had invented and discovered, which was affected by light, and which would change when exposed to light. And that's a whole nother story. But that is how the camera got its name. It's named for the Latin word for room. And once upon a time, there was a little guy in there painting his little heart out.